Hey guys, Earthrock here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a viable debris. And in this case, I'm just going to show you that this does work if you are behind the debris and or in front of the debris if you have triggers in those areas. So, <coughs> mind the cough. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place any model, any model you want, any model, and you're going to just kind of form whatever debris you want. So for instance, I just made simple boxes on top of each other looking nice and ugly. And what we're going to want to do is we are going to convert these into scripts, every single one. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to select all your shabang shaboom models uh, that are going to be a part of this debris. And in your entity browser, you're going to type in script and do script model. And just convert those by pressing middle mouse button twice. That's how I select them. But anyways, so you can go ahead and get rid of those. You're going to go ahead and drop in a trigger. And it's going to be a trigger use, but I already have two of them there. And the last thing we're going to need to do is make a clip brush and then convert it to a script underscore model. So I have a clip here, awesome, fine as can be, and then convert it into a brush model. Wazoo! Okay. So, go into your triggers. Press N. In target name, you're going to want to put zombie underscore debris. You just have to. It lets the game know that this is a debris, not a door, and all that stuff. So, either way, <coughs> excuse me. You are going to add a KVP with the target name zombie underscore cost, and then whatever cost you want, I'll do it with you. So, the reason you want to do this is so that I may actually know how much this door is going to cost. So, for testing purposes, I'm just going to do 500. And you're going to want to add another. KVP, which is called target, and the name of your door. So we're going to name this box underscore debris. Bam. But it's not, see how it's all like rainbow for schwazzle dazzle nipple rings? Yeah. Okay. So what you got to do is you have to actually specify what it's looking for. So if we go ahead and select all of our pretty little models, we go into target name. And we add the name of our debris, which is box underscore debris. You will now see that it is linked. You'll have red lines. Now, what we also need to do is we need to link the clip to this as well. So go into uh, the clip target name and type in the door name, which is box underscore debris. Okay, and you know you've got it when you see a blue line as well. So blue lines for uh, script brush models and red lines for the regular models. So you're good there, little cherub. Now if we look at this one, it's linked there as well. So nice and dandy. I'm going to move this trigger just a little bit closer. So you've got some of the basics down, but we need to make sure that this clip gets removed upon uh, buying the debris and how you do that is you are going to add a KVP called script underscore noteworthy and just simply type in clip push add and there you go you've got a very simple little debris going now I'm going to actually tell you how to add the effects to it and then we'll tell you how to actually make this work. Okay, so what we're going to do to actually give these effects really quick is you're going to want to select every single little brush freaking nipple ditty. Anyways, so we're going to add a KVP, and this is going to be script underscore fire FX. And we're going to do poltergeist. <laughs> Again, I'll, uh, you can just type it in right now. I just have it copied and pasted on my clipboard. And then you're going to do add. Add another KVP called script underscore FXID. And the same thing, poltergeist. Now, you could be done, but the thing is we want these to jiggle a little bit before we even actually make a move so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a script underscore note 
worthy and simply type in jiggle jiggle my hickles and push add so now it's jiggling but we don't want it to go all the way up at once so uh, <coughs> sorry I was just kinda throwing some shade at maps that don't really use transition time so as you can tell we're gonna use transition times so all you want to do is add a kvp and add this in script underscore transition underscore time and you are going to select these individually okay so I'm going to just add this with a blank kvp so that I can go in individually so for the top one it would make sense that these go first rather than these so the bigger the number <coughs> the longer the weight of which it's gonna go so we're just gonna give this one a simple one for its transition time next one we'll do uh, maybe 0 0.5 maybe this will be the very first one to go anyways this one I'm gonna put in four we're gonna do two for this one and maybe a 1.5 for this one see how they're all kind of spread out so it's a little it's gonna look very abstract and different instead of just everything looking nice and neat so you are almost done you were almost done but you have one thing left to do and that's adding a script underscore struct so we're gonna go ahead and dabble this into the map now this controls where they go okay so if I want them to go straight up I'm gonna put it somewhere up in the sky and uh, when they hit this box they'll disappear with a poltergeist effect which is like lightning and storms and stuff so I could have it go to the side I could have it go anywhere but for the purpose of this video I'm gonna have it go upwards okay and we are gonna do an XY top really just uh, for one second okay uh, I want to make sure that this is lined up where I want it to be. Uh, I mean, I guess I can rotate it a bit. There's nothing really stopping me. Okay, so if we open up our entity window, you see how it has a target name. We are going to name this anything we want. So just to kind of keep it organized, uh, because this is box underscore debris, we're going to call it box underscore struct just so it uh, kinda stays in tune with the box debris name now go into your models bing bing boom boom and we are going to target that struct so type in target for the kvp and the name of it which is box underscore struct and you know you did it right when you see all these lines going up to to the struct not from the struct to the struct I mean it's kinda hard because there's no arrows but yeah you don't wanna reverse the process so I'm gonna go ahead compile this go in game and it's gonna work so I'm just gonna save this and we'll see okay so as you can see there's our debris we're walking up to it now and boom bada bing you can now see that it's 500 and on the other side boom bada bing 500 and we cannot go through it because our clip is working <laughs> now if we go ahead and buy it, boom, the effects go, the time goes, the little jiggle before it even went up goes. Now obviously the one that we sent to 4 we shouldn't have because that was a little bit too long. But yeah, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe guys. Now that we have a GTX 1060, we can now upload more content and more tutorials a lot faster. So please down in the comments, please tell me what you want me to teach you on how to do in the Black Ops 3 mod tools. Now that I can easily just squirt these out so freaking quick. And I will see you guys in the next one.